In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new project from an Excel spreadsheet. Before we get started, let's look at how to properly lay out our spreadsheet. Our Excel spreadsheet of survey data contains both numeric and string data. Cases are represented by rows, while variables are stored in separate columns. The first row contains the names of the different variables. QDI Miner can import several spreadsheet and data file formats, including Excel, CSV, and TSV. Let's get started with our Excel spreadsheet project. First, go to the menu at the top of the screen and select Project. Scroll down and select New. A dialog box with four options appears. Choose the second option, Import from Data Files or Web Services. Scroll over to the adjacent menu and choose MS Excel. Choose the spreadsheet that you'd like to import. Choose a name for your project and save it in the location of your choosing. The file is already called Web Survey, so I think I'll leave that as the name of the project, and I'm going to save it on the desktop. An import dialog box appears. You can only import one tab of the Excel spreadsheet at a time. To choose the tab you'd like to import, go up to the Sheet field and press the arrow and select the tab you'd like to import. In our case, we only have one tab, which is called Survey 4. You can import all cells or a range of cells. We're going to import all cells. Prior to import, you can preview. If everything's correct, simply press Import. Your data file will be imported and your project will be created. Your project contains the 6,048 cases that were included as rows on your spreadsheet. The variables for each case which were located in the columns of the spreadsheet have been imported into the variables window. The documents window displays the text of two open-ended responses, ethnicity and skills. String variables must be transformed into nominal or ordinal variables to be included in the analysis. Let's transform the variable gender from a string variable into a nominal variable. To do this, simply select the variable and right-click. Scroll down to transform and all of the variable transformations will be listed for you. There are two options. You can overwrite the existing variable or you could store the information into a new variable with a name of your choosing. We'll choose the first option, overwrite the existing variable. Let's transform the variable age group from a string variable into an ordinal variable. Select the variable, right click your mouse and scroll down to transform age group. All of our variable transformations are listed. We'll choose the first one, string to ordinal. A dialog box appears, and we will choose the first option, overwrite existing variables. An ordinal variable requires values be stored in a specific order. To do this, select the order string values checkbox and press OK. A Label Reorder dialog box appears with all of your values listed. Select the value that you would like to reorder and use the up or down keys to move it to the appropriate location. You can also drag and drop it. Once you're satisfied with where it's located, select OK. We have successfully transformed our age group into an ordinal variable and reordered the values as necessary. From here, you can move on to creating your codebook and coding your document variables.